so for the side of execration kasi dito they're happy to uh, give that show out or kakuhan nun yung ban kasi natandaan natin na for the side of execration si May isn't really uh, known is for his picking. show mm -hmm. more so uh, mas kilala siya sa pagiging isang Leomord God. Leomord. Yeah. Leomord and Therese lang. Yes. Yung and right Leomord. now, katulad yan ang sinasabi natin, the arrival, arrival. just got reworked. <laughs> At tapos, ang daming pwede ipasok tayo yung house. Oh, there you oh go! And pero, and so, since Onik to, hindi ko alam kung support to. Pwede siya, uh, yes, tama. Pwede okay. siyang post for. Pwede siyang maging support. Hindi ko alam kung support yeah. to. So definitely a lot of flexibility room here for Onyx PH. Hindi alam ng execration kung anong role na itong Valir na ito. But the answer would be the Croc here for execration. The first choice and we're gonna be seeing the next pick here for execration. Again, Onyx PH. They're not... Yun na, kinuha na. Kinuha na. They're not letting... They're not... Uh, alam yun, parang hindi nila pinapansin yung Leomord next year dito. As long as they can pick it at sinabi na nga na si May isa sa mga Leomord God ng Pilipinas. 100%, they will just pick that up, kahit nasa second pick pa. Yep, there you go, Tams and Kufra picks here for Onyx PH. I think they're ready for the Leomord. Yes, they're ready. Ang execration dito, they really let the hero through. Kasi if you know execration, they really prefer the uh, Leomord over any other hero para kay May. Uh, mm. Execration, medyo yung draft nila dito, they have to pick out heroes na na medyo kayang, na, kailangan nila kumuha ng isang malakas na mage dito mm -hmm. na kaya sum, sumabay, sumabay sa early tempo, sa pagkuha ng early tempo. They got good tanks, pero kailangan pa nila na dito ng isang solid damage dealer. Damage dealer Kasi yes, tatandaan mo dito, si Leomord, he needs his items. Yeah. And to be to effective, to say na online na yon, you need two core items, not one. Two. Two. Now, ito, gentlemen. Ito yung uh, scary part of the drafting phase. Do you let go of the cushion for Onyx PH? Oh, Onyx. No, if you're execution, you're facing Onyx PH. Alam mo na dalawang player dito yung gumagamit ng cushion. Although Wise is already on the uh, playing field, cushion is still up there. Uh, it's too, it's still hard din para kasi Your team for Onyx is na sabi nila na ay mas sabi natin na masasabi na execution na kuha pa ng cushion dito yung Onyx PH. Kasi Paano kung yung Valir na to nakaset up pala oh, talaga up. para sa mid? Oh. So that means you wasted you one wasted. ban on the cushion just because natakot kayo dahil, dahil yung Valir hindi nakaset up. Yeah, and yes, that's the power so, of the first pick Valir. Talaga mm -hmm. na ito na yung pinapakita na ng Onyx PH na ito yung uh, strength na isang Valir pick. Yes, alam mo na malakas tong hero na to pero you don't know the role kasi. Oh. Yun yung problema eh. And you haven't tested yet kung mage ba talaga to o post force. So for execution, talagang may uh, area sila sa draft at madili to sila kung ano ba yung gagamitin ng Onyx Gage. Yes, tama. Pero I think execution still has an uh, open dito. Uh, uh, an open Esmeralda, especially for Pakbet. Pakbet is really good at using Esmeralda. So I think they might uh, pick an Esmeralda dito as their mage. Mm -hmm. So possible uh, Esmeralda dito for execution on the first pick on the second phase. And we're just waiting for the set hero dito para sa kanila. Now, talking about Onyx PH, do you really think that they're not gonna choose the Gushon or talagang matik na to? Wise, mag-Gushon ka na. Ako! <laughs> pwede nga din kunin na execration dito yung Gushon. Gushon, oh, pwede rin, pwede rin. Yes. Gushon ni Pakbet? Gushon ni Zapno. I mean, Gushon ni... Gushon ni Zapno. Gushon ni Zapno. The Grok and the Gushon combination is still a uh, good... Uh, we, uh, has still good wave clear, mm -hmm. so it's not out of the it's not out of the question. Esmeralda. Okay, and Esmeralda. 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 There you go. Esmeralda. Yeah, the Esmeralda. The question is Esmeralda on the pH. Yeah, I think they're going to take Anandina. Okay. Mm. Kimi, ah, Kimi. Okay. Ranger. Finish it up with the Granger and quite possibly the Gushon. Gushon. Tena lang natin. Mm. Ano ba talaga Ayaw. ang option dito? So magiging post for talaga dito si Paring Wise. Yeah. If kumuha to ng Gushon. Well, let's see here, kasi pwedeng mangyayari. Again, main mage set up yung Valir. Pwedeng si Wise kumamit, and pwede rin naman kung trip nila, si Venus. Diba? Walang problema dun. Here comes Estes. So it is gonna be a Wise mid lane. Valir. There you go. Nilock in na. Nilock in na. There's not gonna be a Gushin in this game. Pero that's a Valir 
มีมีช่วยมีอะไรบ้างอ้ลอดิเพสลอดิเพสมาคิบิเอลอดิเพส is on the house and by the way bago makalimutan do please visit the booth of smart and real me sa real me jan yung makikita mag brawl si manjin at shinbu ah dun ba dun ba mamaya dun sila mag brawl sa likuran ah mam ano ba yon next step na okay next step but Claude 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 against a Granger Medyo na papa iling kayo. Putting, uh, para sa akin dito, it will, it can work. Pero you're putting a lot of the eggs of your eggs into one basket, mm. and that basket is Esmeralda. Mm. You're putting all your hopes and dreams of controlling that early game tempo, dahil may Esmeralda kayo. Yeah. Parang ano na, nakakaro ng burden si Esmeralda rito for oh. execution. Kasi you have two heroes that. Na kailangan ng early game, kailangan ng form, Lee Mord and Claude. So you're setting up your draft to have a very good mid game. Mid -game. Pero yes. may burden pagdating ng early game. And definitely oh. this Valir is not gonna be un it's not gonna be touched for the early game. Onyx PH assured na sila na maganda yung magiging start nila. Okay. So looking at the draft right now, ladies and gentlemen, which side do you really favor? And uh... ako if you're if if, if, if lang ah, kung aabot to ng mid to late game, I'm going for execration. If matatapos siya ng, if kakayaning maaga, I'm going for Onyx, pero... I think it's going to be 2-1, yan. Yeah. Medyo magulo eh. Kasi talagang gusto ko talaga yung dalawang team na to eh. Si Baymas ang daya eh, no? Pabor talaga sa dalawang team. Oh, isa lang, isa lang. Isa lang, so 2-1. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Looking at the draft right now, uh, first game. Sino ba sa tingin mo ang pabor at bakit? Yan, dun, dun na ako sa ano, oh, execration dito. Execration, why? Kasi, Claude, uh, as much as possible, magka-item na to. Dalawang item lang ang kailangan din. As as well as yung Leomord. Mm -hmm. Dalawang masakit to eh. Leomord and Blood. Yeah. So possible na kaya nito to ng execration. Pero may condition. Mm -hmm. They need to go for the late game. Yes. So that is the worry lang nila. If Onyx PH get establishes the early game control, medyo kawawa yun. Oh, yung uh, execution. So that is the first win condition na XA. And that's why the reason. Oh, that, kailangan, that's why, ano? Oh, ang kailangan dito is ma-hold nung Esmeralda yung mm -hmm. pressure na mapupot sa kanya during the early game. Again, ang daming burden eh. No? Ang daming burden kay Esmeralda eh. But then again, ako, masabi ko lang dito, Onyx ako. Onyx. Uh, I'm not really seeing the Leo Mord and Claude getting farm here. Mm -hmm. Parang masyadong nakatutok talaga kay Pakbet lahat. Well, it is what it is, pero Onyx. Yeah, kasi ganun, yun, yun yung mga klase ng laro na kapag na-shot doon yung Esmeralda mo, you really have no game yeah. to play. Kasi if Execration loses the early game battle, mind you, may Valir pa sa side yes, ng Onyx so. PH. It's gonna destroy their tempo. So Execration, they have a condition here na makatalo lang tayo ng early game. We have control of the mid to late game. Pero for Onyx, Butter Style, ikaw ang nagsabi ng Onyx, ano ba yung mga conditions nila dito? Just get their rotations right. As long as they get their level for early, I feel that they will have that certain advantage. As long as they protect the Valir, magiging madali yun. So again, execution for you, Baymax, win condition is that they just need to cross over the mid to late game. The uh, early game. Early to mid game, para masigur nila yung late game. Pero what what Mother said, tingin niya hindi makakuha ng farm. Hindi makakuha ng farm yung execration dito. So you have execration for Baymax, and you have Onyx for Butters. Ako feeling ko, I would still rely with the uh, early game rotations talaga. Kasi mas ano yun eh, nagdidictate ng tempo yun eh. So I would have to go with Onyx. Kasi superior rotations talaga means that you can snowball earlier on oh, yeah. and take control over the mid game. And a lot of the games, uh, ang nagdidikta ng nagiging resulta is kung sino yung kumokontrol ng mid game. So for me, again, Onyx, execration, and uh, Onyx. Yeah. Two to one split, mga kaibigan, execration. They're definitely on the uh, lower part of the battle here. Pero definitely, they have a, a cliff to climb. So yan ang kwento. Yan ang kwento na ikakwento sa atin ng mga casters natin, Profi and Yasmi Yang. Hello, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Or rather, uma hapon na. Alauna na ng hapon and napaka-init ng mga matches natin. First first series pa lang kanina. Mainit na mainit na. Pero ito, mapapatanggal talaga tayo ng salamin dito kahit medyo nakakasilaw. <laughs> Kasi yung mga teams natin, nakakasilaw din yung lakas sa paglalaro ng ML. By the way, kami ang magiging casters nyo for today. Ako nga pala si Yasum Yao and kasama ko dito si Chip Tanod. Si Chip Tanod, uh, dadamputin natin yung mga makukulit <laughs> dyan. Hule, sabay kulong. Dito kayo makakakuha ng hule, sabay kulong. Pero anyway, this is game number one between Onyx PH and Execration. Yes, Onyx PH. Alam mo, ito yung dalawang team na Execration Ilang season na yung hindi pa sila nananalo. We are at MPL Season 4. Baka ito na yung 
kanilang inaasam-asam o oh, it's their time to shine. Or it might be Onyx na bagong salta, bagong pasok. Baka sila din. Kasi ang taas ng chance na sila yung makakuha considering sila yung nasa rank 2 natin sa rankings kumbaga eh nakita na naman pinakitaan tayo ng Oni kung gaano sila kung paano sila maglaro and pinag-uusapan nga natin sabi nga ni Dogs kanina ano yung big ano ano yung ipapakita sa atin ng Oni considering na nag ano nag-training sila nag training nakausap ko eh nakausap ko ibang uh, Oni ano, members Jesus? sabi ano eh 31 daw nila Oni Indonesia oh so may something talaga sila na dala-dalang pasalubong galing uh, Indonesia So, bukod dun sa mga pasalubong na literal na pasalubong, oh. parang hindi naman tayo nakatikim niya. Pero oh, anyway, papasalubungan tayo ng action para dito sa first game ng Onyx PH versus Execration. Kita nyo, tamang uh, laning phase lang for uh, both teams. Medyo nalilate. Kung titignan mo yung rotation niyan, mas mabilis nakakapag-rotate itong uh, Onyx compared dito sa Execration sa ganyang lagay mm -hmm. for, for uh, the side of it. Yeah, for Onyx PH naman kasi dito, surprisingly, kinuha nila si Valir. Si Valir, bukod sa mainit na hero na yan, na literal, pero ito pinapurse blood na nga nakuha na nila dito yung bato at mukhang susundan pa ni Pac. Well, it is it na rin naman. So we're talking about 3-1-3 rotation dito ng Onyx. Kanina natanong mo ko kung madi-disrupt ba yung ganong rotation ng Onyx? Kasi Onyx yun din yung hinahain sa atin, prof eh. Oh. Ikaw ba? Ikaw muna. Anong sa tingin mo ang magagawa ng Onyx dito? Um, yung 1-3, every time na makakakita ko ng sustain coming from the side of Onyx PH, doon nila nilalabas yung 1-3-1 eh. Mm -hmm. Pero alam naman ng execration yung ganyang uh, galawan. Of course, sinasalubong nila, kinokontest nila. Paunahan na lang kung sino sa mga makaka at least 3 kills under 5 minutes or to 7 minutes. Turtle yun ang mas makakabigat sa kanila. Pero Uy, ito, nice na. flicker. Parang kay uh, kuya nyo. Oh my Venus. Tama flicker out lang. Naramdaman. Teka lang, may lumalaga bugbog na lupa dito. Ah. Naramdaman. Actually, naririnig mo naman sa si Esmeralda. Oh. Sa damo. Kahit hindi mo siya nakikita, naririnig nyo. Na, naki, naririnig ko. Her stars are tingling. <laughs> her her oh. stars is tingling. Pati yes. yun, pag may show, pag oh. kumakas ah. Pag kumakas ah. Oh. Alam mo, nag-i-stack na si show oh. dito. Mararamdaman mo sa may bandang damuhan. Pero 1-0, Two minutes in the game, medyo maingat, maingat lang, medyo maingat neutral lang, wala pa masyadong nagkakasok lang. Oh. First turtle is already up, wala pa tayo nakikitang namumuong parang uh, pag... Uy! Sa gitna may namumuong bato pero tinunaw na nga yan, nakalain mo yun, nasusunog pa lang bato. Bro. Nasunog ang uh, otaps, <laughs> nasunog, natusta. Natusta? Ang kanilang uh, tank dito, ang problema dito si Sire kasi grab. Pagka namamatay ka ng early, early sa, sa larong ito, mahihirapan ka na kung run on to the mid-game. Mm -hmm. Nade-delay na yung item, eh. kailangan pag-isipan doon mismo na execration. Kung Pero kita mo naman kung gano'ng kinikip ng Onyx PH dito, yung the rest of the execration, killing this Akai na mukhang nanlambot nga lang din with a bola-bola kami from Greed at muang tinataglight na nila dito si Pac-Bet. Tinabol natin na doon na, Pac-Bet is dead. Sire, do, siya na lang yung natitira, nakuha na nila yung turtle, pukuha pa ba sila ng buhay dito sa sign ng execration kasi iniipit na nila eh. Tato sila dito. They have all the right to do so with that killing spree para kay Valir. First time natin nakita ang nilabas si Valir sa MPL playoffs. Nakita First. niyo yung effect ng isang mm. Valir na napaka ano, napaka hirap tapatan. And yung rotation niya kasi, di ba? On point na on point. Right after na turtle, they try to contest hinabol lang. Misposition kami from the side of execration. Tuloy-tuloy yung nangyayari dito. Ito na. Dito. Arrival. May dating nga ba talaga si Chakno dito? The problem with arrival, kung andun lang sa harap yung kaalaban mo, too obvious eh. No. So, easy disengage lang. Easy disengage lang. I, when you gusto mag-engage doon ng execration sana. Kaso, kitang-kita eh. Kitang-kita. Huling-huling sa CCTV nag-arrival dito itong si Akai. So, easy back away lang para sa side ng Onyx PH. Nayenjo, nahihirapan sila pumasok dito dahil every time na they're trying to go inside, nai-stop lang sila ng Valir. Oh. Or, or yung, yung stand kasi ng ano, and slow coming from the first kill ng uh, Valir. Medyo may hirapan po position, right? Mismo yung mga tank nila, which is si, si, uh, si Akai. Si Akai. Paano mo naman ilalaki niya kung nahihinto at nahihinto? Hindi ka makakabuelo kung baga. <laughs> For Chakno's gameplay kasi, Ito yung sinasabi natin, arrival para kay Chakno since uh, ang hilig niyang manglikod, kumbaga. 
lalo na kapag kaakay siya, may hurricane dan siya, isyoshove niya, papasok yung mga kalaban nila. Pero this time kasi, yun yung feeling ko pinag-aralan ng Onyx. Kasi alam nila ganito yung gameplay ni Chaklu, pero yung sinubo nila dito si May May na hindi na makagalaw na hindi na naging sa The mega kill coming from that Valir. Pero giling-galing yan, Chaklu nagpaikot-ikot na nga lang dun. Pero jump away, pero Chaklu is still dead on the hands of this Ranger. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Every time na mali ang pasok nila, hindi ka na makakalabas ng buhay pa eh. They have this crowd control, they slow, coming from the side of Onyx BH. And if ever na papalaga nila, nasosustain lang sila. Sustain is the game. Oo, sustain. Ang hirap stay lang sila mismo ni Omay mm. Venus sa likod. Ang galing-galing ng mga composition yes, yes. ng lineup nila as of now. Tinan mo, so ready 5 minutes, wala pa ako nakikita ang sagot. 7-0 for the side of uh, execration. Look at the stop coming from Valir in yeah. the burst from Iaknu. Alam mo yung team na kinailangan yung huling bullet ng Death Sonata dito kasi sabog na sabog na si Pakbet. Pumutok si Pakbet. Pumutok. Alam mo, niluto si Pakbet. Niluto. Sakto, ako yun. Pero ito, inahabol na si Dilar. Dilar is just chilling dito sa may top lane. Pero hindi din naman siya yung napapanish. Eh. Usually, medyo hirap ka kapag ka-off lane ka. Pero hindi ganun yung case para kay Dilar. And the rest of Onyx dito, continuous lang yung kanilang 3, 1, or apat na sila nagro-rotate right now para sa side ng Onyx. And hindi makaporma dito yung execration. 6 minutes into the game, 8-0 execration. Asa na yung ban sa inyo, kumbaga, o yung bawi nyo, kumbaga, from last match, oh. nung group stage natin, kasi na 2 sila, ng Onyx, nung group stage, nung ah. regular season natin, oh, kumbaga. Nung, nung regular season, tignan natin kung makakabawi. And, of course, knowing the 1-3-1, sinusunod nila yung the ABC technique na isa-isa tower mm -hmm. then susunod na nila most likely hold lang dito ni Dilar tama talo dito si Green Oy! right on Zapno will go down shoot na shoot yung bola para dito kay Zapno hindi na siya nakaalis doon napakahira para sa isang Claude BMI out hindi ka makaka BMI out <laughs> kasi tamang bola bola lang coming from this Cupra wala nang alisan talaga in the burst coming from Iaknu, the Granger, and also papaliguan ka pa ng apoy ni Valir. Pero another jump coming from Green to zone out lang. Gusto nila ng tower dito. Walang masyadong magawa dito yung execution. Napapansin ko sa kanila, nagre-respond na lang today sa ginagawa dito ng Onyx. Yan ang maging problema. Pag yung, yung style ng, ano, ng uh, game, yung gameplay nyo is nagre-react lang kayo sa kalaban mismo. Kung baga nag-ahabol lang kayo na nag-ahabol. Mm. Uh, mag magkakaroon ng effect niya in the end. Kita nyo, they try to contest sa ano, the towers, pero wala naman nangyayari. There you go, Chuck will go down. Di ba tatapos ang kanilang bakbakan dito? Wise, overpowering. Yeah, yeah. Ang ano, execration. Wise na wise yung itsura, no? Oh. Ano, skin niya kay Valir. Sana oil, di ba? Sana oil, pero ito, an another jump na naman ba ito coming from Green? Oh, kasi continuous lang, eh. Yung pag-wipe dito, pag-wipe dito ng Onyx, eh, tinalo na lang nila dito si Esmeralda. May Esmeralda kasi Zap! biglang nawala si Zap. Ano, nawala din! Biglang naglaho, parang bulawala na rin nagawa dito si May. Kumakatok na sa third tier, inhibitor turret dito, yung side ng Onyx, at Ooh. pinasok pa nila. May is dead! Pero yung sagasa, ragasa, coming fire, hindi na yata ina para mag-salba pa yung tower nila. Sa may middle lane, though, hindi siya makaabot doon. Ng death zone nata, coming from Iya. And again, wala pa rin ako nakikita talaga masagot dito. Wala silang, ano eh, kumbaga, okay yung frontline ng EXEC. Ang, ala, eto, correct. Okay yung frontline ng EXEC, pero paano ka makaka-frontline yeah. kung pinupush back ka ng Valir? Di ba? Ang hirap, sinoshow hirap. ka lang. Oh, Instead na gusto mo, ah, ako, siga ako, di ba? Oh. Wrestling tayo eh. Siga ako, pero walang siga-siga kay Valir eh. Ang uh, plano sana nila dito is yung uh, si Zap mismo papasok from the back lines using the blazing do it against oh. the sustain si oh my venus and uh, wise as well na syempre species hero yung dalawang yan eh mm -hmm. ang problema paano ka nga pepuesto yung sarili mong antag hindi rin makatalon eh yun ang makapuesto na hurricane dance as of now wala pa ako nakikita ng ganung para noticeable na hurricane dance na magagawa or may bibigay niya sa execration kumbaga makahinga palalo sa larang ito. Oo oh, nga, yung problema sa execration, hindi sila pinapahinga talaga dito ng Onyx PH. And abante execrate. lang. Oo, oh, abante nga lang dito yung Onyx PH. Paano ka makakapangligod kung puro abante yung mga kalaban mo? Hindi ka makagamit ng arrival mo? Oo, oh, pwede kang mag-arrival dun sa mga dead turrets nyo. Pero how? Kung yung mga tank mo is yung unang nakukunaw dito sa laban. Now they're taking the Lord para sa sign ng Onyx PH. And isang okay. attempt na hindi nila makukuha dito yung Lord. Pumasok dito yung execration. Oh, Even sa area, umiiyak 
tunang na naman ito si Pacquet, kasama pa itong drop ng execration. Ngayon yung sinasabi ko, every time na pumapasok sila, hindi na sila nakakalabas na buhay. Oo nga. And look at the creeps, yung wave mismo ng mga minions ng Onyx BH, hindi na bumababa. Uh, pabunta sa river, hindi na lumalagpas. Hindi na lumalagpas. Diba? Talagang dire-direcho. It means na itong buong to, it's, all, it's very one-sided game. Mm. Very one Masakera pinapakita ng Onyx PH against Execration. Now we know na Valir, kailangan natin iban. Talaga. Oo, alam na. Alam, alam na. Matik na, matik na. And mabawala na sila dito ng inhibitor turret at the bottom lane para sa side ng Execration. Nagmamarcha pa yung Lord sa may bandang gitna and Onyx PH. Ano na? Eto ang na. kanilang susunod na gagawin dito, syempre, iwa-wipe nila dito yung execration, the turret, and susubukan, syempre, mag-death dito ng execration, kakayanin pa nga, nakapronta dito yung Lord, huwag wild charge dito si Zaire, kaso after the wild charge, duguan yung bato. Ano, yung bato. Na, wala masyadong magawa ang mga upwards ng execration, oh. tamang yung regain dito sa dalawa, pero wild charge na naman, kinabit. look at this name oh. hindi siya nakakagalaw dito. Hindi nga siya nakakagalaw, kasi forever to look, even backbit, pagpasok, falling Star Moon, wala na magawa. And on his PH, that was a smooth, smooth play coming from this new blood dito sa MPL. Pinasalubungan all the way from Indonesia. Hello, execration. Hello, Sabi execration. <laughs> Grabe. Yeah, grabe yung training nila dati. Inaasum-asum lang natin na ah, nag-training sila sa bulok ng tralala. Oh. Ito naging, ma naging ano eh, totoo eh. Legit na. Legit na, legit na, na nag-training. Oo, oh, legit with passport ba? Oh. Hindi na legit with training. Legit with passport. So, oh. namang problema yung ito nag-training sa Kapiti.